Hey guys, Coach Charlie here. I wanted to take a moment to go through the VO sign-in that I put on the chat for our team snap. And I want to show you a little bit about that. I, again, I want to encourage the girls to sign up for that. Um, as a parent, if you want to do that, you can as well. But if you click on that link, a screen like this should pop up and it gives you the options to join the team. So if you see here, you can join as a player, coach, or other. Obviously, the players would want to join as players. Parents would join as other. And once you do that and hit join team, for example, what it's going to do is going to prompt you for a few pieces of information. And once you complete that, then you're going to be able to join the team. And then you're going to have access to all of the different video components um, that comes with VAO. And that's what I want to spend just a moment to go through some of those things with you. So this screen should pop up. And from here, all you need to do is go in and enter your first name, last name. You'd need an email address to be able to access it. And then whatever pass the password you would want to put in phone number and then again the role of player or other and then check the box and join the team and it's as simple as that to be able to get joined to the team and then let's go ahead and look and see what you can do once you're in VO. Now once you've done that you can go in and see the teams. There's various teams that we have here set up. This is um, a unit that is the high school so you see the high school girls as well as the high school boys teams but you'll want to select Harris girls here and from there you can see all of our games that are specifically for us so if we want to go in for example and we're going to look at the franklin county varsity game and you can see a lot of things that are going on here so i'm not going to go through all the details but i want to show you where it's really really interesting you can see here it has a live um, display of players so you can see our plays and their players as we move around on the field so it's a really neat feature you can expand it if you want to see that a little bit further um, you can find out more information about it as well. It tells you different things so that you can learn about the 2D radar. Um, you can set it so that it shows referees. You can set it so that it takes off certain teams. Um, lots of neat features there if you want to see those things. Um, really here and then at the bottom, what's neat with all of these circles, these are different events that have been recorded. So these are done automatically by AI. So when I get the video done, I take it and get it uploaded. It uploads the video and then it takes it a little bit longer and it goes through and processes and begins to follow the ball. So all of this stuff is being followed through their AI processing and then it creates on this side you'll see different events. So these events if I click on them are shown down through here. There's 46 events. They include kickoffs, goal kicks, shots, corner kicks, goals, and it shows which team. So it shows in the fifth minute Franklin County had a corner kick. In the sixth minute we scored a goal in the sixth minute Franklin County had a kickoff which makes sense because we just scored in the eighth minute they had a shot on goal in the eighth minute they had a corner kick in the ninth minute they had a free kick so that goes back and forth you can click on this button here and it'll allow you to see the screen as well as the events on the side you can click on this and you can filter the events I'll, I won't go into that now but I'll show you how to do that at a later point but the big thing here I want you to be able to see is you can watch and highlight or hover over each of these circles and you can see all of the different aspects of what's going on over the course of the game. Now if you click on this button it's called a speed run it'll this one says it'll skip 10 minutes of non-action so when I click on that now what it's going to do is just highlight all of these different spots and go through one by one so it's going to skip these gaps and stuff here too. Now what's nice about that is it like where the ball's out of bounds and somebody's going to get it or it's kicked over the fence and things like that or halftime if there's not any movement on the field it'll skip all that so that you don't have to watch that so it becomes more efficient as you watch it all the way through. Now if you click on this button it's going to highlight it and make it full screen. You can see here I have to make this a little bit bigger to do that so I'm going to get back out of that and go back to this side screen and go ahead and hit play again. Um, you can mute and unmute it. Unfortunately, our sound is not working correctly for some reason right now, so um, we won't worry about that. Uh, the different settings, that just shows you the radar view. I can unclick it or the scoreboard and unclick it and both the scoreboard or the radar view will disappear. You can see also here too, the speed of play. If you want to play it back at normal speed, half speed, um, or go a lot faster if you want to skim through it. Sometimes when a foul is called or something like that, I'll go and change it to slow speed. And I'll also change the interactive type tool because here, um, right now, 
the video that you're watching is what AI is recording and it's following it around. Now, if I want to stop it, I'm going to pause it right here. And if I click on this interactive button, because that camera views a full 180, now it'll start back playing, so I'll pause it for just a second here. And so now it's just going to be pointing out front, but you can take your mouse and hold down. Now you can look all the way out here and see what's going on on our, our sideline. You can go look at the other team's sideline. And I can zoom in on the action. <clears throat> here I'm just rolling the mouse to be able to see that. Okay, and then I can go ahead and play it, for example. So here if I want to see what's going on now, now I want to check what's going on behind. So you can see here they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players. I want to see what the other players are doing. Okay, so that helps us plan for future. We're holding a good back line here. Are we good on the back side with goalkeeper? A lot of different things that we can look at here. Now I'll go ahead and hit play. And you can see here I can do a plus or minus to change the playback speed. I can rewind five seconds. <clears throat> I can fast forward five seconds. Again, hitting play. Now, if I don't do anything, the ball eventually goes out of the screen in this particular view because this is not the AI smart view where it follows the ball. So I actually have to move this around to see what's going on in this instance. Okay. Now, I'm going to exit out of the interactive view by cl clicking on this X here. And now it's going to go back to the automatic AI view where it shows the scoreboard, the radar, and everything that's going on. In this instance here, I'm going to pause it. Let's say, let's go right here, let it go through. If in film study, I want to show you guys something, that's probably not a good example here. So let it play on a little bit longer and see if we can find something that we want to stop and look at. Let that play here. Okay, so here could be an example of something I want to do. Let's say I can go through in film study and we can look and if I want to highlight this particular person, I can say here, um, I think that's Mia there. So Mia's got the ball. So what we might want to show here is Macy's in a good option, for example, but we might want to get her into a better option. And I might show her to come to this sideline here. And I might mention to Megan closing to this gap. So that way Mia has two really good safe options where she can make a pass. And we're going to change that color and say she can make a pass over here or pass over to here or pass drop back in there. The problem with where perhaps we look at Megan in this instance is she's behind this defender. So that pass can't go really well right there. And where Macy is right here, if this pass is made to Macy, then that defender can jump in place. So that's one of the really nice things that we can look at with all of the different tools here. You can only do the drawing tools when you're in this AI mode. If you're in the interactive mode, you can't do the AI tools. It's just for whatever reasons, it's just set up that way. And so this is a really neat, neat way to be able to go through and quickly watch this because a lot of times what I'll do, and I'm going to just briefly show you the analytics. The analytics will go everything from possession, number of goals scored, where that compares to the last goal or the last game. Okay. Um, in this instance, it says we had 12 shots on goal. That's up more from the last game. Here we had 46% possession. That's down 17% percentage points from the last game. And it looks at the last game either being um, a JV or varsity game from the last time that we played. So whoever that was um, that we played the last time. Um, Telehoma, I guess it was here too. And you can look at the possession, for example, for Telehoma and other things. And again, I'll go into this more at a later date to show you more details about it. This is really neat. I've used this before. It allows me to come in and create clips. So I can create different clips and show what's going on. It automatically does some AI clips. And those are typically things like shots on goal. So you'll see all the different shots on goal or goals. Now the events, which is right below it, is a little bit different because it's going to show more of the stoppages of play, like kickoffs, goal kicks, shots, corners. And again, I can go in here and do more stuff as well. I'll spend more time on that later and show you how to filter things out. Um, also here, you can see I'll put notes at the end of the game. 
of different things that I thought we did well or things that we need to work on. Here I just said nice first district game win. We have some things to clean up on spacing and finding safer passes to open teammates. And you can see those notes in here. So I think those are really good things and I'm going to begin doing film study and probably do it by halves um, to break it down to show players and stuff as well. Now there's other things that we can do where players can go and create their own clips and save them privately so that way only they can see them. So that's one thing that can be done as well. But it's a really, really interesting way to be able to go through and study film and see all the data. Um, again, I'll make another video where you can see the different things that we do in data there. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, a lot of neat tools. I'd like the girls to be able to sign up for this because this is something they're going to do in high school as well. But even now, it's a really neat way to see a lot of how the game unfolds and what things are going on in the game. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, look forward to being able to use this. I know this is something that we'll see more of in high school as well. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much.